blessed be his memory and blessed be Uncle Neil and all that he has left behind, the inheritance. Thank you for the honor of having served you. In that room was where I witnessed Uncle Neil at his weakest. And it was there by his bedside, he would often weep. And you know one thing he allowed, he allowed God to chase him. And I remember, it was like he didn't even know I was there when I was right next to him. And he broke into, a, into tears and into crying. He said, God, this was a threefold morning probably. And it was a, a season of several weeks and when God chastens you, you have to hold on. But take these words from Uncle Neil, he said, Lord Jesus, chasten me and I will love you more. Music is just a shell. What lies beneath is what only God will reward him in eternity. And I know that his reception in heaven is greater than what we can see here. This in itself is so mighty. And I know that Uncle Lee's reception in heaven is great. Uh, and he would say, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. And, and so we will, Uncle Neil. Here, there's a unity. You don't see, you see one that is in Christ. Not anymore, one is from Stain Stephen, one is from uh, Red Laban, one is from Baden Bai. That was Uncle Neil. We have, and I'm not shy to say this, I'm not shy to see that he had created leaders. I am not afraid, but the sensation is like being afraid. The same fluttering in the stomach, the same restlessness, the yawning. I keep on swallowing. Go to the sweet shop to get a mitai or a savory. Needless to say, they came home with their bellies full, but their coffers empty. I would like to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to all of you who have been together we are really privileged to have known him and to have the same faith in what was so important and living to him. <laughs>